Okay, okay type, type series. series. I'm going to show you how to do this cool effect. You need a text. The text tool is right there. Now we need some repetitions for our text. And in the search box type reap in. Our effect is the CC Reaper tile. Just apply it to your text layer. Control should be on the upper left part of the interface. And we need some expand down and up. Let's say 1000 pixels. Remember that you can always disable any effect. That's very useful whenever an effect is heavy for you computer to calculate. Now we're after the position control to start our animation. Click on the stopwatch button to create a keyframe in the beginning of the timeline. And now you need the rulers visible. Click and drag from the top ruler to create a guide. You need a visual reference from your text to create the loop. The bottom part of the L in my case. Now go to the end of your timeline. And move your text up until the bottom of the L coincides with the guide. That's it. Pro tip. It should be not quite at the same spot, but a little bit earlier. Check it out. Obviously, the longer the timeline, the slowest the animation. Remember, you need a guide that marks a key visual motif within your text. Now we are going to go for the next level. Drag your composition into the Create a New Comp button. Select your Comp plus Enter to rename it. Now go and search for the Motion Tile effect. This fella here. Apply it to your layer. And the controls are in the upper left part as usual. Feel free to play with this little beast. We're going to mess with the tile center only. The first parameter, X. We create a first keyframe. Same process. Look for a visual motif and put a guide marking it. Move your playhead to the end of your timeline and change the parameter until the loop is created. Perfect. Now check the result. Cool. From here, the sky is the limit. Feel free to ask anything and consider subscribing to the Kinetic Type series. Kinetic Type Series